pretty cool stuff going on here. This panel proposes removing one proton from mercury to turn it into gold, which is a very good idea. Matter of fact, that's how chemistry came into existence. Chemistry actually evolved from alchemy, the ancient practice of attempting to transform basic materials into precious ones. Many of you might be familiar with the Philosopher's Stone, a fictional artifact capable of turning anything into gold, and for centuries, alchemists kept looking for it but couldn't find it because it simply doesn't exist. It's a common proverb for success in some places to say someone has turned mercury into gold. But surprisingly, it's not just a proverb. Everything is made of atoms. Sad atoms are composed of negative electrons orbiting a nucleus containing positively charged protons and neutrons with no electrical charge. There are 92 naturally occurring elements, each identified by its unique number of protons. The lightest with one proton is hydrogen, and the heaviest within natural elements is uranium with 92 protons. You should also know that many elements have what they call isotopes, which possess the same number of protons but differ in that of neutrons. Gold has 79 protons, and mercury has 80 protons, which makes them neighbors. So in theory, if we take off one proton from mercury, it turns into gold. Some atoms are naturally radioactive, undergoing spontaneous transmutation by ejecting particles until they change into a more stable atom. So if an atom could change itself, why couldn't we change an atom? In 1919, Ernest Rutherford achieved the first artificial transmutation. Using alpha particles, he successfully bombarded nitrogen and turned it into oxygen. The key difference between Rutherford's experiment and turning mercury to gold is that he added a proton, while mercury to gold would require removing one, a much trickier process. In 1980, Glenn Seaborg actually managed to turn bismuth into gold inside a particle accelerator. He was able to remove protons and neutrons from bismuth atoms by bombarding them with carbon and neon nuclei traveling near the speed of light. With a similar approach, a rare isotope of mercury can theoretically be turned into gold. But the thing is, this process requires enormous amounts of energy and sophisticated equipment. It's also way more expensive than the value of any gold you might theoretically produce, which makes it impractical in every way. 